Okay. So there's our piecewise function that we're supposed to graph. The strategy we're talking about this morning is to go ahead and to graph the three lines and then mark off the ones you're going to use based on the intervals. To start with what we already know how to do, which is to do the complete graph. So there's my axis that I'm going to work on. Let's take the first equation. It has a slope and it has an intercept. I want to talk about things that are on the chapter 5 BA, both in A and in B. One of the big ideas is if I give you an equation, y equals this, you can pull these two values out of it. So what is the slope in that equation? One half. One over two. So that means I rise one, run two. What about the intercept? Three. Positive three. So when I graph it, I start at 3, 1, 2, 3, and then I follow the slope, go up 1, over 2, up 1, over 2. So there's that line. Hmm? Okay, good. So graphing, again, graphing is something that should be in that toolbox of skills that you, you brought with you. What about um, if it's just y equals a number? What kind of line is that? That's a horizontal line. So I was going to make a little note to myself, this is a horizontal line. What's the slope of a horizontal line again? Zero. Zero, slope is zero. Again, something I should remember, we've talked about it, it's on the list of things I've memorized. Slope of zero. So the second line cuts through negative one, which is right here. And it's a flat line. Uh, is that negative one? Yep. Is that a one? Nope. It's a horizontal line oh, through. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the wrong line. Okay. Yeah. I thought, yeah, that was my bad. Now my last one up here says I want uh, negative x plus 5. Well, it's not horizontal because there's an x in it. So what's that line look like? Negative 1 is the slope. So negative 1 over 1. So I go down 1 over 1. And the intercept? So let's see, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here's the intercept. I plot the intercept first. Then I do the slope. Drop 1, run 1. Drop 1, run 1. Drop 1, run 1. 5. in a position there, make a nice neat sketch. So there are my three lines. All I have to do now is map out where I'm using each of these lines. The first line I drew, half x plus 3, I use that for everything less than negative 2. Well here's negative 2. So half x plus 3, that's this line gets used for everything less than negative 2. Do I include negative 2? Does the rule say to include negative 2? Yeah. Yes. Raised eyebrow does not equal wrong answer. It just means be sure of your answer. So solid dot. So if that's a solid dot, when I pick up in my next function, is it a solid dot or an open dot? Other way around. If that's a solid, then the next one in the line has to be open. Uh, but like, how are you figuring out like if it's like 
How do you erase it? Like, I can't see how many you have. I haven't erased yet. But all I'm doing is saying, look it. I've got this rule for all the numbers less than 2, negative 2. That's all of these numbers from here over. Use the first rule that I grabbed. I was having trouble so far. Yep. You have, yeah, when you sketch the lines, you have to make them all the way through the whole graph because you don't know where you're going to use them and where you're not. It's like big and all right, negative 1. That's my second graph. That runs from negative 2 to positive 3. That's right there. So it's an open circle here, an open circle here, and then I go across. And now the last one, I pick up at 3, and I continue off for all the numbers bigger than it. And then to be truly neat about it, what I should do then is, is get rid of the extra stuff I didn't use. So all this line back here I didn't use, that line I didn't use, this I didn't use, and this I didn't use. Guess what's up? This one? That's from positive 3 on, so here's positive 3 on. I'm following the negative x plus 5 line. That's this line right here. Yeah. Oh, those, those can go too. Those are just, they're surviving through the erasing process because my eraser is cheap. The most important points that you need to have are these points here and these here that show where the each piece starts and stops. Those are the important ones. What's up? You gotta go. What else can I say about this one, guys? Um, yeah. So can you draw your lines? Okay. Like, let's say, like, instead of, like, drawing them, like, where they go, like, they have to be, like, every single point. Yeah. You can just, like, figure it out in your head where you can just, like, plot one point and draw the line. Like if you can, you if you can get a really good line without doing a ton of dots to graph it, you can do that. Just be real careful that you still have everything in the right general position. 